slapped sanctions on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's son, Hafiz al-Assad, under the recently passed Caesars Act. This comes just one month after Syria's first lady, Asma al-Assad, was named in the first round of U.S. sanctions in order to intensify the pressure on the embattled regime. Under the Caesar Act, anyone who does business with 39 named individuals and regime entities will face tough sanctions and their assets in the U.S. will be frozen. U.S. law took effect in June and aims to prevent any normalization of Assad even as he wins back most of Syrian territory after a brutal nine-year war. Officials say that these sanctions were meant to stop Hafiz from becoming a conduit for his family overseas. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that Assad, regi Assad regime's military had become a symbol of brutality, repression and corruption and it was high time that the war came to an end. U.S. and European Union sanctions have frozen the assets of Syrian state and hundreds of companies and individuals. In fact, Washington has banned American exports and investment in Syria, along with the transactions involving oil and hydrocarbon products. The United States, however, has not yet targeted business interests from Assad's key ally, that is Russia.